Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So for those who are not aware of our Discord server, it's actually in the description of this video. And please join us anytime for discussions on Figure Fantasy. So let's go back to what we're going to be discussing today. So Kuroko Shirai, we're going to be discussing her build. Um, she She's going to be easy, guys, in terms, to, in, in terms of build in terms of um, building around her she makes your life easier so first let's uh, take a look at her skills okay so for her skills in terms of her attack maintaining security range one slot attacks an enemy starts when the first enemy in the same line attack speed is fast if you do decide to uh, add attack speed to her it would be great but not necessarily needed after every three basic attacks, the ne next basic attack attacks the current target in the last unit in the same row at the same time and inflicts a stack of arrow upon them. So upgrade effect. So two and three will give you a total of 50% uh, basic attack bonus or b b uh, boost damage of basic attack. Okay, next is going to be her ultimate. We have here arrow teleportation initial energy is 50 deals damage to all units in the current row once and inflicts one stack of arrow upon them energy regeneration is going to be six per second upgrade effect is level two boosts both crit rate and lifesteal by 10 percent after unleashing the ultimate stacking up to three time so definitely she's gonna get a good critical rate boost and lifesteal boost by 10 percent after unleashing the ultimate but i found this a bit um lacking in terms of survivability we'll talk about it later when we talk um regarding her parts okay so level three after each time the ultimate is unleashed the next ultimate will inflict one more stack of arrows up to a maximum three stacks for each cast this definitely is um a good ultimate because it hits three targets in the same row okay and um i think one of the best passives i've ever seen is her so spatial esper teleports to the last enemy in the current row and fires an arrow immediately after being attacked so bosses single bosses bosses at the back are not actually you know are not free from her so immediately after being attacked and gains cc Immunity while teleporting trigger up to once every six seconds for every three auto shot. The enemy will take blast damage and be imprisoned for two seconds. So imprisoned is cannot move while being imprisoned and energy recovery per second is reduced by six. Which is really, really bonkers when you come to, when you come to think of it. Because bosses are really reliant on energy to do much damage and this takes care of them especially for single bosses, especially if they're located at the back. Upgrade effect for this one is level 2, life steal. Life steals health at the same time when the three arrows explode. Um, level 3 is fires additional arrow for each time a basic attack or ultimate damage crits. Okay, so the last one is her special, which is absolute justice. Boost dodge chance by 15% and restores health after each successful dodge. Boost attack by 5% and defense by 10 and boost dodge chance by 20%. So that is her her um, skills. We're going to be moving on to her strengths and weaknesses. Definitely her weakness is her health. If you could enhance her health or increase her health uh, through her through her parts or gear, then definitely she would survive more. She wouldn't be needing a a lifesteal set for her parts if health was addressed. Um, attack is actually good. Defense is already good. Health is definitely going to be her weakness. Attack is superb at S and defense as well. So moving to parts. Okay, so. I have two options for you for each, you know, I, I kind of have two builds for you guys. So for her parts, um, for the four piece set, either you go with the lifesteal, which I have here, lifesteal set, or you go with crit, uh, no, no, not crit set, ultimate set. So 
either lifesteal or ultimate for the four piece set depending on if she has enough health in your build then definitely go for the ultimate set if she doesn't if she can survive that well definitely you have to revert back to the lifesteal set i opted for lifesteal set because right now she doesn't really survive well um, even if you have uh, two healers like Mako and Zephyr at the back, and I don't have any extra good um, ultimate set. That is why I opted for Lifesteal set. For the two-piece set, um, preference would be would definitely be critical. Critical set, but definitely a defense set would be good as well. But for me, if you want to deal much damage, right now she's only at 40% crit. So a little bit more tweaking or upgrading in terms of her gear. As you can see here, most of them are not enhanced. Um, that is why I, I don't have her greatly built right now, but I'm on the right track. So I'll try to experiment with this until probably I get her HP to a good level, then probably switch to an ultimate set. But for now, this is going to be it. As for her badge, you have to give her the eternal phantom badge this is really her set in terms of badge for me restores, restores health to 188 percent attack bonus and, and boost attack speed by 35 percent for 10 seconds after unleashing the ultimate so again this helps her survivability um the one that uh, you want to have as a alternate is eternal glory badge which i think this is it yeah yeah this is it eternal glory badge which uh absorbs lethal damage once gains a shield um this is also good for her especially if you want to address if you don't have the other one you could address this with her survivability and the last one if you don't have the gold badges you could opt for this so far this is going to be the best for her this is going to be her end time ultimate badge this is the third option so you have three options for the badge definitely go for the first one if not go for the second one if worse comes to worse go for this one so so far um that is what i'm recommending of her let's go to i'm gonna show you guys uh okay there are options for her badge especially for this one but this is requiring a purchase so Kuroko Shirai this is for her badge this is this exclusive badge when teleporting after getting hit she gets a 40% chance to knock enemies around her up to 40 seconds this is also good but again if you don't have you know if you don't have any to spend and if you you know just spent to get her then the other badges would be okay but I'm actually trying to think of getting this so enhance this one enhances her passive which i prefer this is for her adornment gains a shield with 360 over attack when she gets hit and triggers teleportation so for me this is a better buy than the badge so if you really want to if, if you are thinking of choosing between these two better go with this one this is going to be better for her because it gives her a shield and um, triggers when she gets hit and triggers teleportation as well so that is it for her badge and a short a short segue also to her adornment okay so as far as uh, team comp is concerned she doesn't really need a lot of you know a lot of um supporting cast with her um the only supporting cast i will you know i will really really um tell you guys is zephyr and you need to bring mako especially if if your kuroko doesn't have a lifesteal set she has ultimate set definitely you'll have those two you should have those two especially when you you have her with bosses okay um other than that definitely she's going to be good with her sister so if you have teams uh definitely have them both in one team and that is it she she's not really a a hard um, 
hard figure to what do you call this a hard figure to configure in terms of what she has around her I, I still don't know her full potential at this point because again the gearing for her is not really that um, the ultimate or the optimum for her at this point but um, if you if you want to see a what they call this a demo on how she's going to be good with bosses take a look at the recent video that i made for snooze alarm i made her the main uh what they call this the main centerpiece um for that one and uh, she's the one who is uh, attacking snooze alarm head on so take a look at that in terms of uh, the demo and how good she is in taking down bosses Okay, so final thoughts for her. Obviously, she's a collab unit. If you have the means to get her, please do. If um, if you need to spend a little bit, please do. Because again, and if you have the means, right? So she's going to make your life easier in terms of clearing stages, in terms of um, you don't have even to get uh, the adornment and the badge. You just have to get her up to, especially if you have her if you have her sister already at five five star diamond it's really a must to get her um don't settle if you have the means uh because she's gonna make again your life easier um will make your life easier for bosses as i mentioned standalone she can be a standalone without healers but you have to build her up with lifesteal set and so far she is the best vanguard that we have i tell you so far in global she's the best vanguard so um there's it guys so hopefully i was able to you know at least give you some tips on how to build her and um she can really be pushed um to her best when you have her just you just have to decide whether you want to invest in her or not so thank you guys for staying this far so take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here